Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Miguna Miguna has come out to criticize whatever Jimmy Wanjigi said yesterday. And when I saw whatever Miguna Miguna posted in his timeline in Twitter handle, this is a serious issue now. Yesterday, Jimmy Wanjigi had came out to bust, of course, this government for attacking Kenyatta's family when it comes to the taxes. And when I saw the statement of Minguna Minguna, I realized that this fight is more than even taxes. I want you to watch whatever Jimmy Wanjugi said yesterday. Then I want you also uh, to listen and also so that we can read whatever Miguna has posted in his Twitter handle. So watch the video of Jimmy Wanjigi first coming out claiming that this government is oppressing the Kenyatta's family. Then on the other side, Miguna Miguna has come out to respond to Jimmy Wanjigi. Then after that, we continue with the analysis. He or Shida hamuta tatua mukitafuta mali ya jomo kinyata. Mukitafuta nini? Mali ya jomo kinyata. That one we will not allow. Jomo yuko? Ayuko. Kama muna shida na uhuru kinyata, uhuru ni uhuru. Sindio? Uhuru ni nani? Ni uhuru. Tafuta ye. Lakini babake? Apana. Jomo hayuko. He is not here to defend himself. Yuko. Na the Bible bishop, you tell me. Niambia vizuri. The Bible is very clear. You must defend widows and orphans. Kweri ya masi kweri? Mama angina sini widow? Kwa nini muna mtafuta? Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Kijana ingali yuko uhuru. Tafuta ye. Mwachane na hiyo ya historia. Ya jomo kenyata. Na mama atutaki kusikia. Munaguza sasa live wire. Kwa sababu, kama munajaribu kuchukua mali ya jomo kinyata, ata meli yetu sisi, sisi ni nani? Si kesho itakuwa wewe? Kesho kutuwa mimi? Na mwingine? We? We? Please. Maendeleo ni mbele. Ukibele kangari. Ladies and gentlemen, you've watched whatever Jimmy Wanjigi has said. But again, this is whatever Miguna Miguna is saying. Who are you to tell Kenyans not to restore public property Jomo Kenyatta and his looting family stole from them? You have a zero moral authority to lecture anyone about stolen public assets. Kakimia, Kenyans must get back their wealth. Upende, usipende. Then, Meguna Meguna has come out to attach, of course, the video of Jimmy Wanjigi. That is whatever Meguna is saying. But again, I want to say this. Something that is very crucial. I have seen Kenyans talking about this issue of taxation towards the Kenyatta's family. When you read whatever Miguna Miguna has come out to post, it is not about taxes only. This issue is more than taxes. I remember very well when this regime was selling the agenda during the campaign 
or electioneering period, some of the close allies promised that in any case they were going to get government, an instrument of power. They were going to ensure that these people, Kenyatta's family, Moi's family, Ogingo Dinga's family, must return the wealth that they grabbed from Kenyans. Then I want to ask a simple question. If truly this is the intention, the way Miguna Miguna is addressing Jimmy Wanjigi, I want to say Miguna Miguna is talking because he is not a victim. But remember, William Ruto might be a victim. Because you might come and say this, whatever Miguna Miguna is saying. That, that Kenyans must restore public property, Jomo Kenyatta, and his, loot of, uh, his looting family store from them. Then I want to ask you, when it comes to looting, of course, the resources and wealth of the Republic of Kenya, if today there will be a true justice and democracy, then the current president of the Republic of Kenya might find himself a victim. Let us speak the truth. Let us call a spade a spade, not a small spoon a spade. The truth must be said. Because I've heard Kenya Kwanzaa, allies and government coming out eloquently, vibrantly, you know, telling Kenyans that the family of Kenyatta was not paying taxes. In fact, I saw something in uh, Dennis Itumbi's, um, of course, f uh, Facebook timeline, and I asked myself, I'm looking at whatever Dennis Itumbi posted in his Facebook timeline, and I, I, I say that this Kenya, we are having jokers. Yes, we are having jokers. This is whatever Dennis Itumbi has come out to post. Honorable Raila Odinga, just pay your tax obligations. Wachana na Kenyatas, they have paid some here and they will pay the rest, which is still a big lot. Sasa wewe lipa 344 million that you owe after dumping fuel here meant for export to Uganda. Kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea. Watch a story. By the way, there are no new taxes. Zile tu wewe na uhuru had during your time. The last finance bill was 2022, when your handshake was still in power. So Lipa, what you said Kenyans should pay. This is whatever Dennis Itumbi is saying. But again I want to say, at times, it is not fair. It is not fair, truly. And I want to address this once and for all. If truly, Ohuru Kenyatta or Kenyatta's family is owing Kenyan or Kenyan's tax. Let the KRA come out to tell us how much or even let them not come out to tell us. Let KRA deal with the Kenyatta's family. If truly Raila Odinga was not paying taxes, then let KRA deal with Raila Odinga because it is a body that is strong under the constitution. That if they are demanding taxes, you must pay. If Moe's family was not paying, then let them pay. This statement of Miguna Miguna is now saying that what a Rudisha Mali wapende was pending. Who told you William Ruto never benefited from Moe's, from Moe's regime? Let us speak the truth. Who told Miguna Miguna? You know, at times when you look the way Miguna Miguna is reasoning, is reasoning he is reasoning in a way that he is angered that he has not been given any job in this government. Why are you coming to tell Kenyans that since we are not interested in the property and the wealth of Kenyatta's family, we are not interested with the wealth and property of Odgingo Dinga's family, we are not interested with the wealth and property of Moi's family. Even though, yes, they have problem or mistake, let this issue be sort, uh, sorted. Let this issue be sorted once and for all. But it should not be any issue that now, if familia na nyanganyo mali, narudishi wa suju wapi, 
who told you that William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya is so clean that is not connected with any issue? I mean, let us speak the truth. The truth is going to set us free. I've had many people, kupiga modomo, taxation, taxation. Yes, they must pay tax. Even myself, I must pay tax. But the truth is, let us speak the truth. If really they didn't pay tax, let KRA come out, deal with them. Let us not politicize this taxation. Because in real issue, it is more than even taxation. It is like now, tunawanyanganya mali. That is the truth. Which according to us, we as Kenyans, we are not interested. Whatever we are interested in is that this government came out very clear during electioneering period, promising Kenyans. There are several issues. They never promised, they never told us that when they were going to get instrument of power, they were going to snatch properties of Kenyatta's family, Moi's family, Ogingo Dinga's family. That is not a, a, any a, our big problem. Our big problem is high taxation. Our big problem is the price of hunger. Our big problem is about the price of fuel. Our problem now is about a free education. Those are the problems that we want this government to cater for. It is none of our business. You know, let KRA come out to deal with those who are not paying taxes, not the government. Because every institution and body is serving their role. That is the truth. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. We are having a fundraising to support this channel so that we can buy a camera, a strand, and a light. Please, if you're willing, please support this channel so that we can afford and purchase those uh, camera, light, and strand. For those who have come out to donate, I want to appreciate you so much. I want to say thank you so much. If you're willing to add also, it is okay. So thank you so much. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.